In September 1944, as part of Operation Market Garden, Allied forces launched a daring airborne assault into the Netherlands. One of the key objectives was to secure a road that would become known as Purple Heart Lane. Purple Heart Lane was a narrow, winding road lined with hedgerows and dotted with farmhouses. It was a vital supply route for the Allies, but it was also heavily defended by German troops. The fighting along Purple Heart Lane was fierce. The Germans had the advantage of being able to set up ambushes from the hedgerows, while the Allies had to advance cautiously, not knowing where the enemy would strike next. It was a brutal battle, with both sides taking heavy casualties. The road was littered with wrecked vehicles and the bodies of the fallen. Despite the fierce resistance, Allied forces were eventually able to secure Purple Heart Lane. The road became a lifeline for the advancing troops, allowing them to bring in much-needed supplies and reinforcements. However, the cost of securing Purple Heart Lane was high. Hundreds of Allied soldiers were killed or wounded in the fighting, earning the road its grim nickname. Today, Purple Heart Lane serves as a reminder of the bravery and sacrifice of those who fought there. It stands as a testament to the high price of freedom and the courage of those who paid it. Purple Heart Lane, remembering the fallen of Operation Market Garden. Welcome guys, this is Trax2 Glory. I am alongside here with Trexy and Hornet. You guys want to say hi to everyone? What is up guys? I'm Trexy, the certified best APL comp player uh, for Hello Loose. That is confirmed by every single Hello Loose player on the world. <laughs> um, ah, I'm joined here by, thank you for having me, Axok, and then Hornet. It's good to have you guys. I'm the I3 here. original, Blue Hornet, flying high and staying airborne since 97 and now with more ordnance. Glad to be here guys. <laughs> well, awesome to have you guys here. So we're going to kind of go in here, talk about lineups as well as we're waiting for everything kind of to start here. Um, actually putting that in here. All right, we're going to switch over here to our kind of our lineups and you guys are going to be able to see what we got going on here. So here as we switch transition over, um, you're going to see our rosters lineups. Do you guys have anything to add once we bring this up here? So as you can see, <laughs> here's BDE for commanders, gunners. We have two tank squads is how it's going to work. Um, two different tanks going against two other different tank squads um, we have listed here. This is your BDE roster. Next roster is going to be Warlords. Here is your squads for Warlords for tank one and tank two. Do you guys have any input here uh, you'd like to put down? I'm just excited to watch this go out. I I'm played a, a long time ago when I was in second AD. I played an armor match with 7th Cav. They're, they had some good tankers. A lot of fun. Um, see if they improved and can be tested. You know, it's going to be a hard test going against the SBT's team, um, which is BDE, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just excited. Apologies if my uh, if I don't hear a couple of questions from y'all. They're using uh, in-game chat, so it's, you know, mixing up a little bit. Yeah, for sure. All right, so... And me, I'm just here to see some tanking. 
<laughs> and then we've already had some matches so far. So here's kind of who's in, who's out. Um, I believe this is the last match of the weekend. So um, basically what you see here is who's in, who's out to the next week. Um, everyone basically with points except for the 16th. 16th is out. They did manage to get one point, though, um, to... Unfortunately, it's not enough to get them to advance to the next week. So this is what we have listed. Everyone with wins is moving on. And this is the final match of today's weekend. Um, and as always, you are watching BR1 TV. So <laughs> make sure we like and subscribe. All right. So uh, I've... Uh... I'm actually one of the tankers for this tournament. I play for uh, the Fat Seas. Uh, I don't know about your censorship here on this channel. I don't want to get you banned. <laughs> um, hopefully I can talk about some strats and stuff. I've seen replicated a couple times. I've also casted a couple of these streams, one of them. Uh, let's see. I, so far, I was talking to Axe Hawk about this before the, before the stream started. Um, popular strat that we've seen is uh, rushing out, just getting into that four square into the mid area that contested four square in the middle as uh, I don't know if you've already explained this but the map will contract every five minutes yeah and then I also want to point out that we do have some overlays so it's gonna be Sherman tanks the M4 and this kind of your stats there for that and then it's also gonna be the Panzer 4 so I mean those are the two different tanks that you'll be seeing going up against each other so we'll see how how that kind of shakes out All right, so I think we're just waiting here. Um, we're kind of on our final leg, I should say. <laughs> Looks like they team. said that 119 is the start diary. Did they correct it? I thought I heard 21. Okay. All right, so I'm going to pull up our scoreboard here for today. Match start in 10 seconds. Understood. We... Two, one. All right, we got a round, a round live. All right, we are live. Go uh -oh. straight yeah. into our first person camera here. Seventh guy was already having to deal with Purple Heart Lane's massive trenches. Their back tank got stuck there. A little bit of space in between. I don't think it's going to matter this far out, though. Lee tank is. Uh, Lead tank is Bush, with the rear tank being, uh, who is that? Smith. So one area that we've seen a lot of contests coming from, we are on the east side, correct? That is correct. Yeah, these bridges, these bridges right here, this is one that I've seen, I believe it was GBI gets stuck on, and they were just getting held back the whole time. It looks like ESPT may be using the same strat just to get that bridge in their line of sight. Smoke rounds coming out from the Shermans. Using one of their many advantages. Oh, we got a scored hit on the lead Sherman. Looks like a turret shot. And it'll be interesting to see what type of strategy they use here. As you can see, there's a little bit of cover, but it's a pretty open map. For sure, for sure. It looks like ESPT is doing exactly what I was talking about earlier, in which they're just rushing that four square so they don't have to worry about the contractions. Alright, I'm not All seeing, right. do you see, seeing, a visual do you see a visual yet on the other tanks? On the German tanks? Yes. It should be right uh, behind me, yep. Looks like they're both holding short of the bridge. They're within, they're right in front of the four square as well. They may risk going over the river. It's, this river is able to be traversed. It's just a little risky. You don't want to get caught. Ooh, ooh. They get through. They Perfect. Get through, yes. Perfect <laughs> driving. Good job. Who's their driver? Button. Good driving button. The seventh tank gonna follow that. No, it looks like uh, seventh tank is actually or second tank is staying back and providing cover for the first one. There you go. You gotta there work. You go. gotta work as a team. I mean, if you don't work as a team, that can cause issues. That can cause issues. <laughs> yep. 
was talking to, I believe it was Hornet yesterday, maybe it was Ginger, but it was talking all about synergy. These tankers have to have so much synergy. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like, stick a nice femur sometimes. I wonder how many combined hours of tanking we have in the game right now. What would you guys estimate? Ooh, and that was a ricochet Thousands. right off the temple of the tank. That was. Ooh, we got one turret hit on the ESBT tank. He's reversing back into cover. So I'm not sure um, if y'all are aware of this, but for a kill on a medium, it will take three turret shots from another medium or two whole shots. All right, and there you go. So real quick, as you can see, there is one minute and 45 seconds before the map shrinks. So um, we're able to get to it. But as you can see here, this is kind of our layout of how it happens. So one is where it's at right now. Two is where it will go once it shrinks. So just keep that in mind. It gets the battlefield gets smaller and smaller um, as the game pro progresses. So right now we're in first stage. You can see we're kind of right in the middle. Get bogged down. Bush apparently made it past that trough some points so they if I may, okay they're not quite in the four square just yet they're definitely closer to it now one problem we've even seen on purple heart lane is sometimes the props are not rendering in at distances and it's causing gunners to see the enemy tanks but be unable to shoot them absolutely we've seen we that happen in multiple bail. games yeah we saw yep. that hair bill uh what game was that um Come track track track. Ooh, we got one so. panzer four down Ooh. Ooh. 7th Cav just lost Smith's Panzer IV. I'm sorry, not 7th Cav. What is their team name again? Uh, that would be Warlords. Warlords. Warlords, yeah, correct. Thank you. Sorry about that, 7th Cav, guys. And as okay. you can see, right now, BDE is repairing their tank. I believe this is Tank 1 squad. Does that look correct? That level of detail oh. I don't have for you. <laughs> Hold on. We'll pull this up here. <laughs> maybe, ne maybe next weekend we can get it at that level. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah, yeah. We no, can no, have no. We'll, we'll, pull we'll, just take... we'll definitely take a look here. So, there are Lords... some things that came late for this event. We do have a push going on. Bush's tank is trying to get into the four square here, hiding behind the hedgerows, trying to keep that cover. He takes a whole shot, one more whole shot, and he's out. Driver is frantically hitting that reverse gear. Will he get out in time? Looks like he will. Classic. Oh, actually, we're going to do a three crew uh, dismount for the repairs. They just got to watch out. I mean, if ESPT knows to fire an HE over here, they can kill all three crews and win the round this way. Right side, that repair is so much faster, though. We see a uh, ESPT tank pushing up right into the middle, loud and proud. Looks like using a broken down building for cover. I mean, there's not much cover here. Could be a dangerous move. Right, I'm not so sure where the second ESPT tank is. Definitely pinging something from the commander. Looks like, yeah, they can barely see the tank. He's. Oh, yeah, I the Panzer IV is taking a hit. I would be so blind. I'd be so lost in this match. <laughs> It'd be I'd fun be to be to poke out once and you're dead. Your friend pokes out, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Quickest match in the history of tracks to glory. That'd be me and my tankers right there. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. Okay. I, I, no lie. No lie. Finally found uh, six pluck clutch over here. He's on the far um, west side of the sector. Svt setting up a crossfire here. Nearly a crossfire. Uh, Oh, the German tank using smoke grenades. They don't have the advantage like the American tanks in which they have the smoke shell. They have to actually manually throw their grenade and they only get four. Risky move for sure. They're actually going to run into the open here. Are they going for the shot? That is super risky. Oh, they get the Ooh, double shot, but one of them is a turret. That turret shot have saved them. Oh. Are they going to reverse in time, though? They, that was a delayed reverse. No, they are not. That is going to be a win for ESBT on this I want to see the replay on that, so I'm going to... We're gonna watch that replay. Sure. They're actually gonna run into the open here. 
Do they go into the shot? They're super risky. Or they get the so there's shot. one hit. One of them is a turret. That turret shot have saved you see, they reverse managed to get a hit off. That wasn't good enough. No, they are not. Boom. There we go. Yep. What we saw there is exactly what I was talking about earlier, in which a turret hit takes three instead of two. That's why they survived the first double tap. Yep. And you can see here, they're trying to repair now. That's the only time they can get out of the tank is for repairs. So, and throw smokes. Yeah, and, and throw throwing smokes. smokes. That's right. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of this round. ESPT is going to recuperate. It looks like they're not even going to bother repairing the tank. They're just going to drive it back to the HQ, get it rearmed and repaired at the same time. Um, I need to ask Command Chat a question real quick. Uh, what's the order for this match, uh, map-wise? Okay, east, center, west is the order. For this yeah, so, yeah, so we were looking at that and discussing it before the match. So we're going to go to our map here Um, kind of do take a look here and you can break it down if you'd like center has been a lot of fun <laughs> um, that's where we played I mean <laughs> ESPT does have the disadvantage um, on the center I don't know if you're if you're in game right now but if you go look at the uh, Duve River that is actually off sides after 10 minutes that area will be out of bounds so ESPT has 10 minutes across this bridge which is otherwise uncrossable it is a completely uh, it is a drowning river. If you get in it, you will drown. Pretty sharp. <laughs> well, there's a person there. Yeah. So we're getting oh some set up here. <laughs> And as we're waiting for that, we'll be right back, guys. After smoke round, we're gone. I don't care what happens. Yeah. So we're gonna do double tap to the pit. Throw a second shot of smoke. We'll go right in that same direction. As soon as we fire the smoke, we're gone. Yeah, we, we gotta go. Alright guys, so it looks like we are back here. Is the stream uh, got some lag issues there? I see in <laughs> So, um...
So we got shots going out from the German tanks. They're gonna go for the double tap method, attempt to get a double tap on the SPT tanks. Sorry. Ooh, look at that. Ricochet shot, or non pin actually, on the Panzer 4. Looks like they're going for a battle of attrition. One ESPT tank down, is that correct? I see an explosion over there in the uh, distance. Yeah, definitely an explosion. Yeah. We have one down. So there you go. Looks like we that got double tap right worked out well for them. It looks like he is stuck on the wall here. That might it's be bad. Wall right. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if there's a tactic there, but he's definitely wall riding. I'm just trying to angle something, or that's just like a star tank. Smith is pushing up. Looking to take the advantage. I see smoke rounds coming up from the SBT tanks. Uh oh, I clipped a little bit of a box there. Is this gonna be. Oof. So I can see they kind of broke up up there, so there's definitely a move here. Yeah, this ESPT tank is doing exactly what I was talking about. They're trying to blitzkrieg past this dude bridge. That is a drownable river over there on each side of this tank. They have to get past here. It took one whole shot. That is going to be one more hit to kill, unless it's a turret shot, of course. Yep, and for but, some reason we can't see where the Panzer is now, so I'm... Is there two Panzers, or is there one left? There's two Panzers still. Okay. Uh, we got one one Sherman who's hurt. He looks like they get out to repair. One Panzer IV has pushed up to the half-track. Still yep. seems to think he's on the he's on the road there, but yep. yes, uh, BDE has already been able to get off yeah, the map. Yeah, he's still shooting down that road. And then as for you know the tank that's down right now, they're they're just repairing. They're getting ready because it's two against one. So we're waiting for that. Waiting for repairs. <laughs> they might get flanked right now. Entirely possible. I mean, they're coming up here. They're pushing up. I mean, they're getting close. The second P4 is pushing up to the first one here. Both things are really well together. That actually isn't a good advantage for them, though, because they've been able to get that double tap that they were looking to get out earlier. Gives them a strong start. All right, so As you already discussed, though. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so they're they're right next to each other. Um, we're definitely seeing them stick together, which either is a good thing or a bad thing. So we'll see how that plays out for you. But as we're looking here, you know, the friendly Sherman might be sneaking up behind them if it can make it across here. As you as you said earlier, this is kind of a a tough area to cross. Yeah, I think ESPT really. Or I'm sorry. Apologize to the clans for using your clan names. I'm aware you have team names, so try and get better at that. BDE is uh, already got a disadvantage with losing that first tank, especially on the American sides. Having to cross that bridge is just so risky. Uh, with those those uh, map shrinkages, pushing each tank in, I mean, it's something that they had to do, and unfortunately they lost the tank while doing it. Um, I think in this case, being together is definitely going to be an advantage for 7th Cav or, or Warlords. Yeah, as you can um, see, we're... 38 seconds away from the next map shrinkage. So they're slowly pushing up. Hornet, do you have any input here on, on kind of what you're seeing as this plays out? Uh, if anything, it'd be the idea of what it's like to pull this off in game in, a, in like a Friday Night Fight type scenario when it actually is, is combat effective for... Um, pushing a, a controlled map, it wouldn't be necessarily two tanks versus two tanks, but an entire map full of people kind of a thing. Right. In other words, I do not know. <laughs> no, you're good, so... It's a beautiful thing to say. It's like it's like seeing um, water polo versus just swimming down a lane. And water polo is a team game, right, of a lot of swimmers, but this is the power of just a swimmer. When you see the synchronized swimmers, you're thinking of the exact same uh, position for every person rotated about. And this is the kind of maneuvers we see with these tanks here. All right. Highly coordinated plays. 
What a you don't get that in you don't get that in big games. You don't get that in big <laughs> That was a great game. screenshot. That was a yeah. great <laughs> I had to take that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. But um uh, seen uh Warlord's tanks here are actually in first gear. I don't know if you're if you can see that. Good strategy that keeps the gun stable. Their drivers are focused on staying on the flat road and keeping that gun stable. Hornet, kind of what you were talking about, this is a, definitely a strat that you'd see in FNF as well because they're gonna, this is the best way to engage infantry while on the move. Yeah, double, slow and one volley, slow and steady. One volley, yeah. Uh, who was it that was talking to me about the one volley that was um, streaming with me the other day? I think maybe Ginger Slushy. Um, the one volley, which is a single shot from each tank near simultaneously, a volley of two tanks targeting the same, same tank. And these maneuvers allow for exactly that, a one volley, two tanks firing at the same target at the same time and taking it out almost instantaneously. Also known as, I suppose, um, a double tap or a two shot. But I yep. think one volley best describes what it is. That's what we saw happen to the uh, war, um, BDE tank at the beginning of this round. It looks like a shot just came out from the uh, BDE tank. Both yeah. Warlord tanks are moving to engage. One took a hit, but the other one is reversing into firing line. Yeah, the rear PD4. They've hit both without taking a hit themselves. Okay, they've just taken a hit themselves. I'd love to hear a composite of all the comms Ooh. that the uh, the tankers are using after the game, you know? Have their local audio files recorded and then hear them all composited together so we can understand what it yeah, is. Yeah, as you can the hear, tankers. they're just talking like crazy, so... Yes. That'll be something to have in future games. Looks like uh, Warlords here is in a Discord. I'm not getting any local audio. Yeah, that's what I'd imagine they're using, too. It's much more flexible. But, I mean... BDE has to be really careful with pushing that because they just got punished for it instantly. I mean, even though uh, Warlords, I don't think uh, Warlords was quick enough to react. I don't. Th I think they could have curled that Sherman if they were a little bit quicker on the trigger. But either way, I mean, that having two Panzer Force here just protected them from losing a tank. That second one was able to uh, fire, distract it from the first one. Who was it we saw run over one of their own tank crewmen as they repaired? Who was that from yesterday? Oh, sorry for a moment here. I see a BD tank. It's actually more. They don't have their turret on it. Uh, oh, maybe they do now. I think the commander just spotted them out. Mm. Um, I believe that was... Uh, it was the P4s that did it, I think, not the Shermans on that one. Yeah, I can't remember that one. I think yeah. it was the second match. Ooh, we got one whole hit on Warlords. There's some tanking maneuvers where you can just see the difference in skill sets between the teams, that's for sure. When the units jump out near instantly and you have, you have four men suddenly pop out of a tank all near instantaneously. When you have the tanks move with the gun position in the exact same position and movement order to the exact same. You can tell there's a, there's a, there's a skill set difference between the tank matchups. So we've got one tank repairing here. Warlord's front tank is repairing. The second one is trying to get an LOS line of sight on the... EDE tank. Fortunately, he's not facing the right direction. He doesn't realize that that tank is actually pushed closer to the road since then. You can tell they're still repairing, so they're trying to make sure they maintain a quality tank there, so they're not... Oh, Smith actually took damage from that shot. Luckily, he... oh, he's dead. They just lost their tank commander in the first uh, tank. Smith has been killed by an AP round. Unless they yeah, had loaded actually. HE. Just me, Smith, you will yeah. be remembered. <laughs> wow. All right, so I don't know what the rules are. I mean, because we're still trying to learn the rules here as well, so. Yes. Basically, uh, I think he's out for until reset. Yep, right. exactly. Yes. He's yeah, he's dead. Pretty. He's uh, yeah. he's out. Yeah. He's out. They are now a spotterless tank here. Um, it's interesting to note that if there was a repair crewman that was alive after the tank was dead, they would also have to redeploy or suicide. They don't get to join the other tank and be an infinite repairman or something like that. That's they don't true. Get to do that. They go down with the tank. We saw that happen actually yesterday. Yeah. So I'm wondering if they're gonna let if they're gonna swap positions here. I figured they'd want the commander tank to be up in front because he can see better. It looks like this tank is just holding their position. I see BDE is pushing out. Let's see if I can see it from above here. Not seeing him. Yeah, you can see it completely to the top right, top left, or bottom left. That's you know, if a warlord, distance. If 
but where their gunner really knows where to aim, he can actually knock out the engine in that Sherman if he gets a hole, if he gets a shot on the back of the hole. He can knock out the engine. That Sherman will not be able to retreat back behind cover. We got one hit on the first Panzer IV with two crewmen. And one hit on BDE. BDE is too much in the open. They may lose this. Seventh Cap should get the reload in time. The gunner has forgotten to reload. Okay, but oh, he's down. No. He's down. There it goes. So that is round two to Warlords. Good job, Warlords. Yeah, tied up. So yeah, we got look... tied. We got a one-one tie here as we go into round three. I haven't seen too many of those. Right, we'll get them here. That is a great, great uh, teamwork strat right there. Because even though the first tank took the shot, the second tank was able to finish off the enemy. Um, just giving them just enough time. It looked like the gunner in the second tank almost forgot to reload there for a second or so because he was behind. It. But fortunately, the FB tank returned fire but hit the turret of the Panzer IV, causing it to, uh, like I said earlier again, they need a three shot instead of a two shot, which is what allowed them to survive. I gotcha. So we should see a reduction timer here. I think the reduction timer just went into effect. So I think we have three minutes and was it 21 seconds till next round? Does that seem I right? I suppose so. I, I think they will come up with the times of the rounds yeah. as needed by the tankers. All right. Well, guys, we'll be right back as we wait for round three. All right. See you guys in a little bit.
Alright guys, and we are back. So, we're gonna... Okay, I'm seeing uh, Panzer IV here is taking the position on the westward side of the map on the hill, so... Uh, actually, may be taking both positions. So these two areas here that these Panzer IVs are looks like they're gunning for have a line of sight on the bridge that um, BDE will be forced to cross due to the boundary uh, contraction. So they're going to be forced to cross a bridge here, and these two positions are able to fire onto that bridge from where they are. Get some camera on that right there. Oh. That's coming out. Hit. Shots coming out from Bush. He is spotted though. See if you can get him here. So we are tied 1 1. So whoever wins this wins and moves on. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> this one's for, for all the marbles here to continue yeah. going forward in the tournament. Smith's P4 seems to be pushing up the river a little bit. Not a lot of cover over here. But it is a better sight line, that's for sure. Yeah, that's I just took a hit here. See if they get the repair off or if they get another hit taken here. They are just barely covered I mean those those shrubs can only sh like you know show that there's no cover they like just shield you from view but they're not gonna protect you from a shot coming in yeah wait shots can go through those <laughs> it, depends on, it depends on which ones yeah some hedgerows will block shots and some will yep. let shots go through and I was like I said earlier a lot of these a lot of these props on Hill Lane have problems rendering in over certain right, distances. You see their hay right. bell on that. Oh, that, on that right, that's the go-to example. That hay bell was uh, the go-to example for that day shot. The crap out of that hay bell. And uh, you know what? She didn't budge. She was a very uh, indestructible, determined hay bell. Oof. That was... Oh, well, was a smoke shot. That wasn't even a... <laughs> that was a ricochet right there. Looks like they're really focusing on getting into position. All right, this is kind of risky. They're out in the open trying to make a push. Huh. Looks like Smith is putting a call in precision strike. Uh, Mark, that's pretty funny. Maybe he'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll get it. You know, you got to be polite with commander and be following the orders, putting down some garrisons, and I think that's the way to do it. It's hopefully they've been doing that for this match so far. Ooh, it actually looks like that hay bell that we were just talking about is causing problems for the... Really? For, uh, we got a nickname He's shooting bell. right at it. We got a nickname that hay bell. A little hay bell that could. Ricochet <laughs> on the Panzer IV. The luck of the hay bell. Yeah. That is a successful turret shot on like the P4. They're going to change targets to the one that is engaging them. One of the many ways to sacrifice the Purple Heart Lane gods is to pray to the, the hay bell. I there. mean, look at this <laughs> command view right here like <laughs> what are you even shooting at Just, how do you how, how do uh -oh. they see things it looks like that uh smith has died once again he seems to be a bullet attraction leaving his tank with only two crewmen god you know we, there's a thing here on vr1 tv anytime you're in first person camera it's called the death cam for a reason death i think cam. we had the oh, wrong death. person for the death cam today for <laughs> once we, we actually have a stream where <laughs> we had the wrong person oh boy both of these tanks are engaging. Can Bush get his tank into a firing position? I've actually lost track of Bush. I don't oh, here he is. Looks like he's trying to get to a, a firing position, but he's behind trees, so he's not even going to be able to see those Germans. 
button and uh is that what is that leaf read button and leaf read are really pinned down here yeah you can see they're repairing right there in front of you all right so it looks like we just did our shrink our reduction timer just went past five so now we're on to the next reduction time um so just making it so the map gets smaller and smaller every five minutes that pass yeah button has hopped into the spotter scope in his p4 looks like they're not too worried about driving right now they just want to figure out what's shooting them hopefully return fire as you can see they're just hiding behind those shrubs trying to maintain that cover look at that he's just zooming in Meanwhile, your secondary tank here on the BDE side is just staying calm. They're just letting the clock tick off. Let's That's see true. These at. P4s will eventually have to move. And the next, uh, what's the countdown for the next map shrink? Should be four minutes? Uh, it looks like or it's three minutes, minutes and 42 seconds, 41, 40. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, they, it looks like BDE knows that they're going to have to push up on the uh, Warlord side. So right Tell you what, that is a nasty hole peak. Yeah, so right now it's just too quiet. Like, there's not a whole lot going on. It's more strategy right now than it is just full-on shooting, trying to get each other. We have one Panzer IV crossing the river, making the first move here. At least we'll get them closer to inline. Both of those Panzer IVs are, well, actually, the one on the west side there is able to cross the river there if he plays cards careful enough, Maybe but he's going to have, have no cover. Maybe we have in tank here. Let's see if we can get some. So we got yeah, we got... Yep. Bush Lee and Winter here. Okay. Searching for targets. And Ricochet actually... off the first P4. They're pushing up regardless. They may be using that first P4 as bait to figure out where they're getting shot from so that Bush can engage. And that, actually, that shot came from these guys right here. So, Puck Clutch, Platypus, and your mom. So, damn, my other mom. Tank here. That's Relic and Blackjack. Uh oh. Sergeant are in. They're going to have to push in on that Panzer IV with the only two crew members. I mean, both Panzer IVs are actually going to have to push in. Neither with, are, are within bounds right now. I think BDE knows this. Uh, Bush is starting the mo momentum. I'm not sure if they're communicating that to Button and Leafried because keep in mind that their squad leader died. So if he's not communicating to them that they need to get within the boundaries of the next minute and a half. Then they're going to be disqualified. So they're currently out of bounds. They got to get in bounds. I'm sure the rest will let them know. Yep. They're going to have to use local chat. So as, let me see here. Do they know? Okay, it looks like they do know. Yeah, they're pushing into the river. They got stuck, though. That's a drown. One P4 died. It's been drowned. It's happened in almost every single game. There it goes. Warlords is a loss of tank to the river. Purple Heart Lane, that's, that's its motto right there. That's what it does. Okay, can Bush clutch it up for Warlords here? There's a one to two currently. One successful hit, followed by a ricochet. Yep, and then as and then for our refs today, our refs are Sotelo and, and Compton, Compton, so um, it's kind of giving you a heads up, a heads up on, on what our refs are and what we're seeing there. So look at this, you have all three out here repairing, that's kind of risky, uh, but it looks it like is. they have some pretty good cover. 
Now, where in comparison to that tank, where is the other uh, BDE tank here? What kind of line of sight do they have on this P4? They're right next to each other. Look at that. Oh, they are. Okay, so they're both. Okay, I see. It's kind of the reverse strat we just saw on middle. They have the advantage, so they're pushing Did off the same time. Did that come from the left there? That came from the P4. Yeah, the the remaining P4 takes a hit. I think this is going to be game here. They know they can win this fight. They've already lost their crewman. They maybe would have taken a shot. Oh, no, they did oh, not repair quick yeah. enough. That is going to be oh, a, yeah. a win for BDE. And I'm going to yeah, want to see a replay on, on that. So let's take a look well, at this. If you could talk to the headcaster there. <laughs> there you go, Xox. Yeah, you know, Xox, of course, is the headcaster. That's the joke. I think this is going to be game here. They know so they, they take one hit. Fight. It looks like they traded, but they maybe would have take a shot. looks like BD oh, no, came out up top on that. Nice. Yep. The first shot from the uh, P4 was a ricochet, which just gave BDE even more incentive to push out. They knew they, once they got that ricochet, they knew they were going to win the fight. Yeah, so are we down to one more tank? No, they drowned, remember? Oh my gosh, that's, that's what right. I was saying so earlier. That's game. That's, that's, that's game. game. Yep. That is game that for the day. For the day. Yep, and as yep, the clock as gets the clock reset, reset there, so they are, so calling, they are it. calling it. So friendly team kill from uh, <laughs> BDE. You gotta love to see it. Yep. So today's match goes to BDE. They will be moving on. Um, it was a two to one match. It was close, action packed. There was a little bit of, you know, nothing going on there leading up to that final right there. But heck, <laughs> that's why we have a timer. That's why you know clocks tick and you gotta do something. Um, otherwise, we'd be here all day. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, guys, tune in next week. Uh, definitely have something for you next week as well. Don't know what day yet. It'll be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Aim for a Sunday match. Um, as for that, you can follow everyone uh, Tracks to Glory here. Um, is there a website that they can go to? Do you guys know where of? You know, I don't know the website, but I'm, I know there's a Discord. That's all I have. Yeah, the Discord server. And uh, also, website, maybe soon. There is a um, the uh, a stream tomorrow that will go over what map we're going to be playing tomorrow. It's going to, you know, we're going to have a bunch of casters there talking about the kind of things they saw today, strategy, stuff like that. They're going to do a coin flip for next week's map. So that's going to be tomorrow. I'm not unsure what time. I believe you said it was 7 PST. Is that correct? I'm not sure if that's correct or not. I'm not correct on that one. You know, PST 7 p.m. is what I have it in my head. Okay. I can't well, confirm it right now. In September 19th. By the way, that will be casted tomorrow. Um, we'll see a lot of people there talking about the different strategies will, by these tankers. Well, there will be a number of live cams. I will be one of the people live. You'll get to see my beautiful face and my pearly wife. <laughs> well, the, the views. There you go. Yeah. So that's what we're here for. <laughs> so right. next week. That's what we're here for. No, they can friend. I'll have a video camera. There'll be a few of those as well for tomorrow night. All right, well, there you go. You can have a recap video there. Um, as for today, that is the final match. Again, goes to BDE, BDE. here. And, and uh, Warlords, Warlords ha has the, the loss. So we're going to do one thing here um, this, once again as we take a look back. What a close game, though. Warlords really Beautiful almost game. pulled through there. One of the rare 1v1s, we've had a lot of 2-0 wins. Nice to see a 1v1 go into it for a third round. Yeah, it, it was nice to see that. So we'll say one thing here, though. So as we look at standings, I'm going to pull those up here. Um, we don't know who's playing who yet. Um, still waiting to hear. We'll definitely find out later this week. Um, but that may be part of the that stream tomorrow is who's playing who bracket continuation stuff like that. Yep. So mm -hmm. just like yeah, the, yeah the, talking the about all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be something good to see, um, something to look forward to. Who's gonna move on? But we're gonna add it right here. Let me scroll down. BDE with the win. Looks like they had two points. Warlords with one, and BDE is gonna get the win. So there you go. They're moving up. As you can see, we finally have our teams that move on. So 1 through 8 move on. Anyone 9 through 16 will not be advancing going forward into the tournament. Um, I call that the Blue Hornet tanker bracket there. That's my <laughs> skill set right there. 
There like to see, like to see, like to see continuations in the future. Like to see my boys at Easy Company pull in some tanks as well. I've been working on trying to get them trained up, geared up, but we'll see what happens. There Be nice go. to see a B bracket, a B, an A and a B bracket in the future. Tracks the glory. I'll be talking with them in a trade or two. What they think? Yeah, yeah Tracks the glory really come, come and grown. This was originally supposed to be a uh, merciless in-house Merc, yeah. in-house event, yeah. But we decided right. that we were going to spread it out across the community. Thank you so though. much, Merc. Thank you so much, Merc. That was a beautiful idea. I've been waiting and loving stuff like this, and I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, that's thanks to Kaz, Compton, everyone who thought of that, Valky, whole team. Oh, it's Kaz. Kaz, one of the main persons. Okay, that's I believe so. Yeah. The referees, they were talking about one of the referees. I don't know. They're all they're all the higher ups to me. Those guys have been I'm putting just a, lowly, a lot of time. Lowly Those guys have been putting in a lot of volunteer time. There's no financial incentive here. There's just good tanking, and I love me some tanking. <laughs> there you go. Well, everyone, that is the end of today's match. Uh, again, tune in. You know, so you can see who plays who for next week. Um, as for here on BR1 TV, I will be posting um, kind of like game time and everything later in the week. You'll know which one we'll be doing. Um, tune in then next week. Probably going to be a Sunday. Just giving you a heads up on that. Otherwise, do you guys have anything to say before we sign off? Uh, you unless you heard here. me gulping some water there, I don't think I don't think I got anything <laughs> to say. All right, well, you guys have a wonderful day. Before that, we're going to go straight to our ads here because I actually have some things. Oh, I have something to say. Yeah, go ahead. Keep flying high, keep staying airborne. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, guys, um, before we leave, we're going to go to our ads. I'm going to kind of show you here on our live chat. So Sunday night standoff, every Sunday um, event is hosted by Sholson Jaegers, but you can participate every Sunday at 9 p.m. EST. You can also, if you like Beyond the Wire, Saturday brawls at 1 p.m. EST on the BR1 gaming servers. And then every Friday night, yes, it's hosted by the Senate, Friday night fights always at 9 p.m. EST. Again, go to BR1Gaming.com. You can go to our events page, learn all about it. You can join it directly from our website as well. But those are the things you can definitely look for. So have a wonderful weekend and tune in next week. See you guys later.